prawn trawling and bycatch reduction in Moreton Bay. Commercial fishers all over the country are governed by strict legislation. When it comes to bycatch, the trawl industry has been the most demonised of all fisheries, particularly from a public point of view. Nevertheless, fishers are continually working on developments to enhance the industry's sustainability and image. The following movie will demonstrate some of the bycatch reduction devices currently used within the bay. Turtle Exclusion Device, or TEDS, modify trawl nets to allow larger animals to escape. These animals include sea turtles, stingrays, sharks, sponges, as well as marine debris. The grid is designed so any large species can slide along the bars to an exit hole cut in the top or bottom of the surrounding mesh. The use of TEDS is helping Queensland's East Coast trawl fishery reduce its catch of endangered and protected sea turtle species by 95%. TEDS are mandatory for all prawn nets in Queensland. Nets are also required to have at least one additional BRD built in, in combination with the TED. Here are a few more examples of bycatch reduction devices. Square mesh panels. This BRD is a panel of square mesh set at a predetermined distance from the drawstring. The mesh for this panel is specifically designed to provide an exit for small fish. Fish eye. A fish eye BRD is a round opening held by a rigid frame at a set distance from the drawstring of the cod end. Research has found that the fish eye BRD reduced sea snake capture rates by 63% compared to a net without a BRD, with no reduction in catch rate of marketable prawns. Trigear. Although not officially classed as a BRD, Trigear is a small scale version of a regular net. The net is shot away and fishes in front of the main gear. However, it is hauled up every 15 to 20 minutes to see what the catch is made up of. If there is too much bycatch, the vessel will haul its nets up and move to different ground, effectively acting as a further bycatch reduction device. Commercial fishers are continually working on methods of bycatch mitigation, which all contribute to Australia's commercial fisheries ranking second in the world for sustainability.